yung we want to share lang po sana eh, kung anong pwede mong masabi sa amin yung since this is your first time to join in MMFF the Mama Sapano ano po yung mga leksyon na natutunan mo doon ano yung mga na-realize mo in uh, joining MMFF dahil alam ko marami po kayong insights na gusto mo sanang i-share pero ano yung mga natutunan mo doon sa pagsali mo sa M sa last MMFF Uh, first of all, ang unang-unang, uh, uh, my first misgiving, ang unang-unang misgiving ko noon, uh, katulad na, as I told you, katulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo, uh, was the uh, first day, last day syndrome. But I'm happy to report that uh, hindi kami nag first day, last day. In fact, we were able to last the entire festival and we ended day 14 with still 26 screens, both in Metro Manila and the... Uh, Uh, participating provinces. But konti lang, it's not much, but at least natapos namin. Ay, hindi naman mo na nangyari yun yung other films. Kahit ang iba ho, hindi naman nila na experience. Yeah, pero meron nun ako eh, yung nila lang. I remember. Okay, this, this last... Oh, film. yes, yes. Okay, na. Eh, eh, buti nga, mabuti nga na ganun ang nangyari. It was good that that was what happened. Because, I have, uh, uh, lagi kong sinasabi, as I've always been saying, uh, the essence of a festival is that yung choice nag festival kayo when I went to Donostia may ano na may play date na lahat ng entries and that was over 100 films when I went to Zurich film festival as an observer right the, and wala akong entry of course more than 200 films all of them were showing for the entire duration of the festival hindi walang na wala 200 films ganun dapat ang festival that is how a festival should be conducted okay number two Uh, the problem dito with the Metro Manila Film Festival ay nahahaluan nga ng fundraising kasi nagiging cash cow for the local governments because of the amusement tax. Kasi uh, yung gross, may amusement tax sila na 30%, di ba? So they are concerned with the gross. Kaya nakakapasok yung mga movies na ang sole aim is not to improve the quality of Filipino films pero para, ngunit para kumita lang Hindi bali nga kung katulad ng Deleter. It's a quality movie that uh, uh, was the top grosser. And I'm very happy about that. Siguro unti-unti, nagpabago na ang taste ng mga Filipino moviegoers. But still, katulad ng sinabi ko, ulitin ko ulit ito, kahit sabihin niyo makulit ako, ang festival ay fiesta. Pag nag-fiesta kayo, hindi niyo pakakainin ng munggo, ng daing, ha? Nang, uh, 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 ano, nang nag-iisang kalabasa ang inyong mga bisita. Pakakain yung lecho, lelenong mano, kakare-kare, crispy pata, special na pagkain. Ha? Tama na yung ano. And that is why, sabi ko, tagdali nyo na sa MMDA yan. Ilagay nyo na sa FDCP, sa Field Development Council of the Philippines. Implementing na lang ang MMDA para sa logistics, etc. Kasi wala naman yung FDCP. But for the administration, lagay nyo na lang yung FDCP. Lagay nila lang sa FDCP. Someone that knows what it is doing. The MMDA has no business promoting Filipino movies. Ha? Wala alam niyang mga yan eh. Ha? Apologies to the friends I have made at MMDA who are very nice to me as a first time entrant. Pero talagang hindi po ubra. There are a lot of conflicting interests there. Ha? And I'd like, by the way, I'd like to take this occasion to thank the FDCP for the first time yata. Ha? Binigyan nila ng subsidy lahat ng uh, uh, entries across the board mm -hmm. for to help defray our promotional cost. 500 lang naman but for uh, 500 pa. Yeah, but for a small producer like me, malaking bagay na yun eh. Kasi ay, kailangan natin ng promotion. Any demands pa naman sa promotion ng MMFF. Kailangan may so many number of streamers ka, meron kang teasers, meron kang float, etc. May penalty pa pag hindi pumunta yung star mo sa float. I mean, kung ayaw, kung ayaw mo mag-promote, hindi, hindi ba problema mo yun? Hindi nila problema. Hindi nila problema yun. However, yun nga eh, there's always an eye to the gross. Hindi dapat yun ang, uh, ano, ang uh, primordial uh, interest ng film festival but uplift the quality of films. Yun lang. But, uh, maayos, kung parang hindi maayos naman ang MMFF, yun lang nga, talagang dapat matanggal ang conflict of interest ng MMDA, ng local government, at ang film producers. Only then, 
can we have a really relevant na film festival na pwede na tayong mag, ano, mag-imbita ng mga dayuhan to help. Kasi dapat mag-festival, may pupot ng dayuhan, tinitignan nila yung mga features eh, kung anong pwede lang bihin para i-show sa international market. Ha? We need the international market, di ba sustain ang local market ang film industry. Okay, thank you, Tony. At last alam po, kasi since mukhang tuloy-tuloy yung paggawa mo ng mga films ng Boracho, di ba? Mukhang ang haba ng PC niyo po talaga dito. So, mga mga ilang bagay sa akin, no? Oh, <laughs> oh, um, yung mga co-stars niyo rin dito at mga bagong talents din ng team, di ba? So, uh, may mga plano ka ba for them aside from this project at saka kayo mo ba yung merong kukunin mga parang mga artist talaga ng Boracho? I I'm not I don't think I can ano, I can be a good talent manager. Eh. No, I mean uh, parang exclusive artist of, like my Marigal Babies, that can be ba mga Viva artists. Oh, pero ano eh, uh, the cost the management contract eh. Oh, okay. I I don't think I can uh, manage contracts. Uh-huh. Ang hirap mag-manage ng contracts eh. Lalo na pag katulad ni Kiana, laging late. Mahirap niya, uh, ano, manage. <laughs> Saan na si Hartney pala? Dati, din lagi mo na, may talaga ka pala na Hartney. Hindi, kasi, Ngayon, hindi kasi, kasi shoot dito. lang, ang layo naman kasi ah, okay. ng bahay niya, no? Ah. Ay, nasa pa siya yung top check? So, may iba pa siya project? I, I'd like to introduce also si uh, Dr. Chelly Hano. He was the one who, if you remember, he was the one who played Bato. Yes. Ay, yung mga Masakano. Hindi kasi nagpapakita. Dito ka, pull a chair, pubic hair. Punta ka dito. Porkit magkabuka kayo, lagi kayo magkakagitin. Hindi siya pogi. Oo, can you say a few words about your experience in, uh, ano, in, uh, in, in Spring in Prague? Hi, production. Ah, sorry. No, it was a pleasant experience. And at the same time, we have cultural exchanges. They actually, ang problema lang, they don't want to eat a lot. No, no, no. Uh, I was explaining pretty really well, but... I look like this pastor. No, no, no. What I meant was, you didn't like to eat balut. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted her to eat that stuff. And then, uh, hello, hello, were you able to eat? No. It was just two stores away from our hotel. Uh, yeah. yeah. But she was so busy, yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, what is nice about this production is we're really quick when we do stuff. And uh, we're fortunate that uh, sometimes we do just one thing and everybody's happy, and sometimes with other actresses. We have to do multiple takes, but the multiple take is so they have a different take per take. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes the big mistake. Yo, you pa. <laughs> so we have multiple takes. So the experience was uh, excellent, again, just like Mama Zapano, because the production was really quick, and the, you know, there's no hemming and hawing, we just go ahead and take the damn thing and, and get it over with. But not just to get it over with. Look at that man's experience. The experience is really good. And uh, Ferdy is uh, one of our better producers at this point because he's not going to do fluff. He's not going to do a movie just for the sake of doing a movie. He's going to do it for the country. 